All right, hello everybody, we should be live and today we're talking about how you can prepare for a potential ban to TikTok. Invest with trading two one two. For some reason, sorry about that. My my stream played in the background there. It played an advert. But as as I'm saying, guys, TikTok is potentially facing a ban in the US. And if it gets banned in the US, typically the rest of the Western world follows the American lead. So I'm gonna deep dive in this live stream how to prepare for a potential TikTok live ban. And I'm going to explain just my general feelings uh, on whether I think it's going to be banned at all in the first place. But as per usual, guys, you know, I like to start my live streams by providing instant value. So today's instant value is Streamlabs Ultra. This is a paid version of Streamlabs and it lets me multi-stream to six different platforms at once using one upload stream, one 6K bitrate data stream. So I stream to TikTok, Twitch, Trovo, Facebook, Kick, and YouTube, all from one client, all using one 6K data stream. So it doesn't use much CPU. It doesn't use much upload speed. And that helps me future-proof my live streams. If TikTok gets banned, I have an audience still on, again, Facebook. Well, you can see it on the screen. Facebook, YouTube, Trovo, Kick. Twitch, I still have an audience on five platforms, even if TikTok got banned. So that's one of my first pieces of advice, and we're going to dive deeper into that a bit later on. But multi-stream, guys, and if you want a discount on what you're looking at here, if you want a discount on Streamlabs Ultra, click the link in the description. That is an affiliate link. It will give you $9 off the first month of Streamlabs Ultra. Of course, there's many benefits to Streamlabs Ultra. One of the other benefits, aside from multi-streaming, is you get access to all of these themes. You get this, you, get, you have an app store as well, various other apps as well, but you get some nice, look at, I mean, look at all these. There's, there's even more that there's even more than this, but the, this is this is some of the things you get access to uh, with Streamlabs Ultra. But again, I mean, even if you didn't, even if it had nothing else other than multi-streaming, I would still buy Streamlabs Ultra. Um, I highly recommend Streamlabs Ultra. Uh, so that is the instant value in today's live stream. We always like to start the stream just by instantly providing value. Um, let's quickly, uh, quickly just go over um, some of the basics that we do on stream here. So to start with, uh, we'll try and read out every message, uh, feature as many messages as possible. For example, this is me on one of my accounts saying hello, everyone. Uh, of course, we will prioritize any channel members. You can click the link in the description or you click the link at the top of the YouTube chat. And we prioritize any channel members. We also, will, of course, will prioritize any super chats. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in the chat. This is always an interactive live stream as ever. Uh, so let's just have a look in the chat, see who's there. Um, I know Fan was in the chat beforehand. Hello, Fan. He was asking how to remove a TikTok live ban. I don't think you can, right? Unless you have a direct contact at TikTok. You just got to wait it out. Um, DJX. I don't know how to say your name, but hello, DJX. How's it going? Ultra is typically, Kevin, $19 a month. Or $150 for a year. So with the link in the description, it will give you Streamlabs Ultra for $10 for the first month if you want to try it out for cheaper. Since TikTok refused OBS and the key no longer works, everything has fallen. I, I can see your point, right? They're not giving as many stream keys out. Um, I would love a comment from TikTok on that. Yeah, my stream key also works fine. But the point he's making, DJX, um, is that TikTok seems to be pushing people towards live studio. So just for example, if you guys know Carter Pulse, the American agency that helps Americans get access to computer streaming on TikTok, Carter Pulse used to issue stream keys to streamers, right? But Carter Pulse has been switched to issuing live studio access only, not, not by their own choice, TikTok Obviously, TikTok controls that at the end of the day. So TikTok has told Carter Plus they can only issue live studio access now. But yeah, for those, those who do have access, including myself, Kevin, others typing in the chat, it still works. My uh, stream widgets seems to be a bit bugged today, sadly. I might I might have to... My Twitch is a bit... But I'll have to switch to a different one. Have you given streaming on Rumble a try? No. Um, not on Rumble. Have you guys tried Rumble? Uh, hello, Demon Lay. How's it going, guys? Yeah, I'm. I'm currently using this 
I'm currently using this method right now on DJX. Uh, hello, OJ. How's it going? Hmm. <laughs> Is it a big W? I wouldn't say it's a big W. Um. I mean, it, it's it's user friendly, but like the thing is, like TikTok Live Studio is only a big W in my opinion. If if they're giving people a choice, you need it. Like right now, we've got Streamlabs on the screen, right? But I'm also using OBS, right? And when you stream on Twitch, this is obviously OBS streaming on YouTube, right? When you stream on Twitch and YouTube, you get the choice between OBS and Streamlabs, and also Streamyard and Restream, and you get you get a good choice of of an unlimited number of apps you know whoever wants to develop an app to stream on twitch and youtube etc can develop one and then anyone can use it right but with tiktok they're closing the ecosystem and forcing people onto live studio they're not giving you a choice that's part of the problem um so i would argue that it's not a big w right now the way it's set up uh do i offer one-on-one -on -one support yep you can click the link in the description uh go on my fiverr page or go on the one-on-one -on -one website either or if you if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one support <clears throat> that gives a good tie-in actually another way you can get one-on-one -on -one support you can become a channel member the top the top tier of channel membership will get you one-on-one -on -one support so you click the join button the platinum membership will get you a monthly one-on-one -on -one strategy call uh, of course you guys don't have to become a platinum member right we have cheaper tiers as well so you guys can support me just from one dollar one pound one euro bronze membership will get you a nice chat badge a nice discord role and you can just support the channel just for one dollar and if you guys want to support for five dollars you get a priority priority support channel i can't say that priority support channel in the discord server uh, i'll do a quick on-stream channel review of your tiktok page or your youtube page uh, if you become a gold member you get the silver and bronze tier and i'll also shout you out at the end of every video and you can join me on call um on the stream so those are the different tiers of channel membership. But yeah, if you guys just go in the description, I know, I know, I know I'm in I'm in the matrix here. You go in the description, there's various links, including one on one calls, Fiverr page. Uh, we sell various uh, services on the Fiverr page as well. Um so so yes, and this is the Discord by the way. I should notify Discord that I'm live. Um uh, let's just notify. Uh, talking about how to prepare for a TikTok ban. Uh, let's copy and paste this link as well. Send it. Why is the thumbnail cropped like that? What? That is some weird ass cropping. <laughs> Why isn't it cropped by 16 di 69 dimensions? I'm not sure. No idea. Anyway, let's just pull up the channel page um, towards it. If this is anything else to look at. Um, you wish you had a streak stream key. Yeah, same. Oh, everyone wishes I had a stream. I have a stream key, right? But I, it's it's the general the general sentiment for for most people is that they wish they had a stream key. I I agree. Um, it sucks that TikTok doesn't give everyone access. It it does it does suck. And I and I talked about that in this live stream. Actually, I, I didn't um, this dear TikTok live. That's one of the major issues. And I'm going to turn this into a video. I'll, I'm going to turn this live stream into a video as well at some point as well. Uh, so we don't need to, you know, you know. So you guys don't need to watch like two hours worth of live streaming. I talked about this one two and a half hours. But obviously, we we just answer questions a lot of the time as well. Uh, who are you paying, DJX? That, like what? That's the first time. Who, who do you pay for? Who are you paying for a stream key? Are you talking about services like there's, there's services like like Lula that like might give you access, but but like typically they'll suppress your live stream. TikTok will suppress your live stream, so it's not worth paying. Um, if you talk if you're talking about, I don't, let let us know who you're talking about, DJX. Like what what service or person are you talking about? Yeah, well again, Lula. Um, from my experience, Lula will suppress your live stream. Not Lula. TikTok will suppress your Lula live stream. I actually spoke to the uh, the owner of Lula earlier on today, just coincidentally. It, it was interesting to get a like a better understanding of the Lula service. It was interesting to talk to him. Hello, Curanex. Um, I don't know what ASC means, but hello, how's it going? How's it going? 
yeah so let's let's dive back into the um let's dive back into preparing for a tiktok ban let's just dive back into that right so i mean let's just start with let's just start with the background right um so we go on the bbc website let's go on tech right like every day or nearly every day there's one of these articles right so like Yesterday, the BBC advised staff to delete TikTok from work phones. Right? So this is yesterday. Right? There's probably a link to a different article. They actually don't have a link. Yeah, so, and then three days ago, the the UK banned TikTok from Chinese-owned... So, sorry, the TikTok... The UK banned TikTok from government-owned phones. Right? And then, of course... The Americans are doing a similar thing, right? So TikTok says the US threatens a ban if China stake not so. So this is five days ago. So we have an article from one day ago, three days ago, five days ago. Um, and th this is why we're doing this live stream really, right? Because it's, it's repeatedly coming up that people are talking about TikTok being banned Again, you can see part of that was in the UK. It's banned off government devices now. I think, believe it's also banned off US government devices um, and various other devices in, in different countries. So it's definitely worth talking about, right? Because of, because of the risks the risks of a ban. The risks of a ban. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to dive deeper into it. Again, we're going to be looking at chat messages as we go. Hello, Marco. How's it going? Um, yep, I agree, DJ. OBS, virtual camera, and live studio are a good combination uh, for those of us who don't have a stream key. Uh, some people don't even have live studio. Uh, hello, Dmark. Um, how do you stream on TikTok if you're using a PC? Yeah, good question, Dmark. There's a lot of tutorials on the channel about that. You need either access to live studio or access to a stream key. Um, if, if you click the link in my bio, Dmark, and, and just watch some of the videos on my on my YouTube channel, um, if you just sort it by popular and watch the two most popular ones, I think that'll give you a good overview. We have a, a video about stream keys and a video about live studio. Honestly, though, to be honest, like most people who are asking the question, like, how do you stream from a PC? It probably means you don't have access to either of them. Um, but yeah, if, if you want to you check, just go on my YouTube channel. The, the link is in the TikTok bio. Now, what's up, Terrell? How's it going? Welcome to the live stream. So, yeah, as we're saying, um, you know, I've just shown you guys just off one website, three different articles on the BBC News website about TikTok being banned all in the last week, all in the last week. Now, this I think this is an older one, right? This is oh, this is just first of March. This, this ain't even that old, right? This is this one's 21 days old. China has accused the US of overreacting after federal employees were ordered to remove the video app TikTok from government issued phones. Uh, I don't see a link, Kevin. I think YouTube just automatically gets rid of links. Um, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. There, there ain't no link in my chat. <laughs> um, yeah, so TikTok is TikTok is under pressure. TikTok is under pressure, put it that way. Under a lot of pressure. I saw that I saw I saw a video on on Twitter from the TikTok CEO. Um, again, I don't I don't want to pull up my Twitter directly, right? Because there is sometimes some saucy things on Twitter. If you guys know what I mean, especially Elon Musk's Twitter. Let me type in TikTok CEO off screen. Are you guys are you talking about this video? I, I mean, let's watch it. I mean, he's, Hi, he's, he's pretty it's much you, this guy's PR trained out of his ass. Um, it's not very exciting video, but let's watch it anyway. It's only a minute long. Here, I'm the CEO of TikTok. I'm here in Washington DC today, and uh, I have some. Again, he's, uh, I hate videos like this because he's just he's just PR trained out of his asshole. He's not talking like a real human. He's talking like a robot. Some news and updates to share with everyone here. Today, I'm super excited to announce. I'm sorry, I'm gonna pause again. You, you guys remember the Super Bowl? The, the was it the Chiefs who won? Whoever won, like the 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 owner of the owner of whoever won the Super Bowl was is also PR trained out of his asshole. He just speaks like a robot. It's just, <laughs> it, it, it's it's like how do you how how are you supposed to relate to these millionaires who are just again speaking like robots? 
because they've been PR trained by five different people on how to speak. There are more than 150 million Americans on TikTok. That's almost half of the US coming to TikTok to connect, to create, to share, to learn, or just to have some fun. This includes 5 million businesses that use TikTok to reach their customers. And the majority of these are small and medium businesses. Now these numbers are amazing. And I'm so thankful to all of you and the 7,000 TikTok employees in the US who are helping us build this incredible community in America and around the world. Now this comes at a pivotal moment. To be fair, I would have thought there was more than 7,000 people work for TikTok in the US, but that's interesting. I know TikTok's a global company, so maybe I shouldn't be too surprised. For us, some politicians have started talking about banning TikTok. Now this could take TikTok away from all 150 million of you. I'll be testifying before Congress later this week to share all that we're doing to protect Americans using the app and deliver on our mission to inspire creativity and to bring joy. Let me know in the comments what you want your elected representatives to know about what you love about TikTok. Yeah, so that, that's, that's the TikTok CEO um, on the defensive talking about a potential ban. Uh, again, I really, I really don't think it's a cultural thing, Kevin, because like I say, if, if you guys watch the Super Bowl, the, the the way the it was it the Chiefs I can't I'm not I'm not too deep in, in, into American football right but the 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 way the owner who of whoever won the Super Bowl speaks was speaking it speaks he speaks in a similar manner it's it's PR trained it's PR trained billionaires right like and that was a I think he I mean I think he's Chinese right that's a Chinese guy and an American guy they both speak the same way they're both just they're both just PR trained so much that they just don't sound to me in my opinion right they don't sound real like. He's obviously just reading off a script, you know. That's fine. It's not. It's not terrible, right? It's just. It you know. It's just, it's just fake and inauthentic. A lot of us in the U.S. are on a scare TikTok. I'm not sure what you mean, Kevin. You're saying you're scared of TikTok. Uh, astrology guy says, "Hey Harry, I think if they ban TikTok, they should ban Meta as well." Uh, you talk. I'm. I'm assuming you're talking about Facebook, as in the the Facebook parent company Meta, like that. So the the, the thing is, obviously, like these are all American companies, right? So it's highly unlikely the American government's going to ban an American-owned company. Uh, again, part part of the problem with TikTok is it's China is its Chinese ownership. Not none of this. That like TikTok wouldn't even be under this much scrutiny if it was just if it was just about uh, if it was just U.S. owned, right? Even if it was harvesting the same amount of data. Like I don't even I, I honestly I, I don't know too much about all this data harvesting accusations like 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 is it is it even harvesting more data than than a western owned company I don't know I, I really don't know the answer to that question and I, and that's that's not really the main focus on this the the main the main focus on this live stream will be like strategies you can take strategies you can take you should take uh, to try and um, to mitigate the potential of a ban. Uh, so if we go to my Discord here, let me just make sure there's nothing again saucy in the Discord before I switch into the Java channel. Um, if I scroll up a bit here, you can say I yonked one of Mr. Beast's thumbnails. I yonked, I yonked one of Mr. Beast's thumbnails on my gaming channel. Sorry, Mr. Beast. Um, also had a funny again. This is not this is not right. I had a funny conversation with some guy who was trying to trying to ask me if I needed a short form video, and he said he was going to expose me. But uh, if you guys want to watch that again, Discord link is in my bio in the description. Uh, that's a that's a funny little screenshot there, right? But what I want to pull is the Colin Samir tweet, which I pasted here. Here we go, Colin Samir. You guys, uh, if you guys don't know Colin Samir and you're a content creator and everyone watching is a content creator, you should definitely check out their channel. It, it's some fantastic videos. Uh, but Colin Samir's thoughts on a ban, a TikTok ban, uh, it feels unlikely. Uh, the fact that YouTube Shorts has created a viable option that is US owned and provides a good option for the independent creators who have built businesses on TikTok makes it a bit more compelling now unlikely but more possible than before and that's in response to roberto blake who is another fantastic uh fantastic content creator who will teach you more about being a content creator uh he says do you think a tiktok ban will happen is it inevitable or unlikely so colin to me i think it's unlikely i think i would tend to agree with him if um, i think this article this article kind of mentions it somewhere i'll make one of, there's so there's honestly so many bbc articles but like one of them mentioned how like it, TikTok got relatively close to being banned by Donald Trump, uh, but in the end, it was just it just kind of petered out because the U.S. courts just blocked it in the end. Um, 
So although it's unlikely, we should still be preparing. Um, and, and I think I think we'll start by going back to, to what I was showing you here. You guys don't have to use Streamlabs Ultra to stream, but this is what I use to stream. And the, the reason I use it is because it's it's the easiest way of multi-streaming. You do need a stream key. If you don't have a stream key, you would just use the Streamlabs virtual cam and use Live Studio and Streamlabs. So earlier on, Kevin, of course, uh, was talking about this, right? So this is the way to go. This is the way to multi-stream if you don't have a stream key. But if you don't have a stream key, I would multi-stream using Streamlabs Ultra and the Streamlabs Ultra Virtual Cam. If you want to know how to start the Streamlabs Ultra Virtual and click the settings cog, click uh, Virtual Webcam, and you start the Virtual Webcam. And you just add the Streamlabs virtual webcam to Live Studio. Um, so again, there's an affiliate link if anybody does want to try out Streamlabs Ultra. It will give you $9 off, so it will give you it for $10 for the first month. It's $19 a month. Uh, again, you get, you get you get so much of this. You get all of these different... There's, there's, there's way more than these overlays on this page. You get access to all the overlays. You also get access to, I think, eight different apps that will help you with different aspects of live streaming and video editing. Um, yeah, you can just click, just click. If you guys want to learn more about Streamlabs Ultra, just click the Streamlabs Ultra guide in the description. Uh, DJX is asking a good question. It says, what about Restream? Yeah. Um, so from my experience, um, and again, I, I was just by chance, I was talking to the owner of Lula, which is a similar service to Restream. It's just lesser known. Um, Restream is both more expensive um, and, it, and it seems to be more geared towards like podcasting chatting type of streamers so i know most of you aren't most of you are gamers right not everybody right I'm, I'm not i'm not just trying to target gamers on the channel but i think the i think the majority of you guys are gamers right um but streaming video games specifically i've found that like you know stream labs seems to be the, the best way to do it for, for me the best way to multi-stream uh, i i found i found as a Streamlabs Ultra user, and I've been using Streamlabs Ultra for over a year, pr probably close to two years now. Not quite two years, but close to two years. As a Streamlabs Ultra user, I've had, literally, I've felt no reason whatsoever to switch off it. So, Restream is definitely an option. It's definitely an option. But I have no reason to use it, to put it simply. I, I again, I, you know, the, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. I don't know if that's just a British phrase, right? But, like, I know it's an affiliate link in the description, but I genuinely use Streamlabs Ultra myself, you know, multiple times a week. I use it to stream on my gaming channel just a few hours ago. Sorry, I had to mute to cough. Um, but yeah, Restream is definitely an option, especially if you're not a gaming streamer. Uh, hello to Real Zenith. How's it going, mate? Uh, right, I missed a few messages here. Let's, let's go back through them. Um... Are you talking about the TikTok CEO? I just I, I, honestly, honestly, I, I'd never seen his face before that. If we're if you're saying what's he trying to accomplish, if he's just trying to raise awareness of his existence as like a human being, then it's just put a put a, a face to the name. Then hey, it worked for me. I'd no, I honestly had no idea. If you show me a picture of him, I wouldn't have known that was the TikTok CEO. Uh, maybe that was yeah. Uh, and as D, as DJ says, yes, he's his damage control. He's preparing for the obviously he's going to get. It is it's going to get hammered by both the Democrats and the Republicans. Like I think I think that's probably one of the rare instances where the left and the right in America agree with each other. Agree with each other, right? You guys agree in general? I'm not a political expert, right? But I think I don't think the left. I think both the left and the right of U.S. politics are not great fans of TikTok. Um, the answer to this question, of course, is both. Um. I say this every live stream, and especially this live stream, every single person should be multi-streaming. There's benefits, there's negatives to both TikTok and to Twitch. Uh, the problem, the major, the, the biggest problem with Twitch is there's no discoverability. Uh, if you go live on Twitch and nowhere else, you're going to have zero views. You're going to be at the bottom of the list. Uh, obviously, I'll just physically show you, right? If I if I load if I load up Twitch, right? Who's on the homepage of Twitch here? What's the lowest number of viewers we can see on the homepage? Is it even going to load? Kai Day with 14,000 viewers. I uh, hope Kai Day's cancer treatment's going well, by the way. All the best to Kai Day. Uh, Mimi with 3,000. Brooke with 398. This is this is suggested, right? This is suggested to me. If, if you look at the top one, they, they, everybody's getting this one. 300, 300, 
360, right? So if you have zero viewers, you ain't going to be on the homepage of Twitch, that's for sure. You'll be clicking at the Valorant category. If you have zero viewers, you ain't going to be here. No one's going to find you. Even if I sorted by recommended, right? It's still not showing anybody with zero viewers here, right? So that's, that's obviously the main problem with Twitch is the discoverability. You have to convert the people from, from YouTube, from TikTok, and from anywhere else, Instagram, Twitter, etc., etc. You have to convert them onto Twitch. That's obviously the biggest drawback of Twitch. Same thing for Kick.com. Um, Kick.com is, is kind of blowing up. Um, it's literally a Twitch clone. They've copied and pasted the interface. Uh, if you guys weren't aware, I did just switch to a different website because it looks the same. <laughs> like if you know if, I, I, it's a little bit risky clicking on it here because quick kick kick is not that well moderated um but yeah same thing with kick.com it's a twitch clone right so there's no discoverability um so multi-stream that's my suggestion always multi-stream facebook is lobbying our government because tiktok is cutting into their finances i don't know much about that uh, tick, yep, TikTok gives you more exposure, as in there's an there's an algorithm that can push your live stream, um, unlike on unlike on TikTok, unlike on Twitch. Sorry, uh, would, I'm definitely behind on the messages here. Um, yeah, the, 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 Dylan, Dylan, it's it's like one of the major problems, and I, again, I talked about this on the previous live, talked about it on this live stream here. This is one of the problems with TikTok. There is no clear guidelines, and I'm gonna make a video. I, I I'm. That'll probably be my next video is I'm going to outline all the major problems I've identified with TikTok live and I'm going to outline the solution and I'm going to like I have kind of contacts with some TikTok stuff, right? Like not a great relationship, right? But I, can, I think I can get the video to TikTok and I'd be curious to see if they respond to it, right? Um, so we'll, we'll make a video outlining stuff like this. There needs to be a clear set of rule of guidelines for TikTok Live. There just isn't, right? There's just no clear guidelines. Uh, I don't know what that is, Michael Clapper. I don't know what that is. Um, GGX, which I'm assuming we're referring to the left, left and right Republicans here. Both are against it. That should tell you that no matter who you vote for, they're in control of whatever happens. <laughs> Yeah, that like both the Trump, the Trump and the Biden administration have both been, you know, pretty hostile towards um, towards TikTok. Like it seems like the U.S. policy on China is not that different from left versus right. Again, I'm not a political expert. Uh, how to stream on TikTok from Streamlabs? You need a stream key, Mister Bro. Um, how's it going? I see you verified. You must have over 100k subs. Very nice. Congratulations. Um, you need a stream key. You likely don't have a stream key. Um, if you want to check, you've got a stream key. Just short by most popular. Watch the stream key video here. Um, or, or just scroll down. There's not that many videos on the channel, right? You can watch the stream key video. If you don't have a stream key, then use Streamlabs Ultra. I, I, I recommend Streamlabs Ultra. Right? Use Streamlabs Ultra and multi-stream. Discount link in the description. Give you $9 off. And then just enable. If you don't have a stream key, click the settings cover on Streamlabs. Uh, click virtual webcam start the virtual webcam and stream on live studio add the virtual webcam as a camera source on live studio um same as the obs virtual cam except it's it's the streamlabs virtual cam instead so that's how you that's how you stream to tiktok from streamlabs you either need a stream key or use the virtual cam and stream uh whatever's on streamlabs to live studio um yeah the the american the honestly the Amer the american for, for a European, I'm British, obviously, the, the American system of politics is often amusing and, and peculiar to us Europeans. Um, but hey, America is a very highly successful country, so who, who am I to judge? Uh, a lot of DJ streamers. <laughs> uh, is, is, that, is that for like monetization copyright reasons? Um... Again, you know the copyright. The copyright people will catch up eventually, right? I don't know how lax the copyright laws are on the copyright like claims are. How, how, what are copyright claims like on TikTok? Because I just avoid playing copyrighted music, to be honest. Um, what is he? What was going on here? Some publishers fix the first person who shoots the most jets. How can I do this with the king crown on the screen? That sounds like a game. I don't make games. No idea. Uh, hello, Paul. How's it going, Paul? Hope you're doing well. 
is there any way to mute your mic on TikTok Live? Um, I mean, depending on what what type, what what are we streaming on? We're using Live Studio, we're using OBS, we're we using our using our phone. I mean, it, it, easy on Live Studio. It literally press start. There we go. You guys can't hear me on Live Studio. Right? <laughs> that this is the sorry. You guys can't see. Sorry. Let me just let me just shrink up a bit here. Yo, Astro, I see the gifts. I'm sorry I missed them. Uh, this is the mute button on TikTok Live Studio. It'll be a similar button on OBS, a similar button, uh, a similar button on Streamlabs. Uh, mobile gaming. I'm not sure about mobile gaming. Sorry, Soren. Um, not sure. Uh, any videos on having TikTok? No, I don't actually have any videos about moderators in general. Uh, what do you want to learn? What do you want to learn about moderating, Paul? Happy to answer any more precise questions. Streamlabs Ultra is $19 a month. Uh, if you click the link in the description, you'll get $9 off the first month, which will mean you can try it for $10 a month for the first month. Uh, I had someone similar asking this. I can't write in the chat. I'm sorry. Um, I, don't, I, I don't agree with that, DJX. I don't think the host feature on... Uh, on Twitch was a particularly important feature, and I actually think the raid feature is a far better feature that, than the host feature. I think it, I think it's far better. I I, re I really don't think that's affected Twitch. One little bit. Um, I'm gonna let me pull up Solly Gnome. It is interesting to look at the stats, though, right? So let's look at the stats on Twitch, right? Again, I I recommend you guys multi-stream on Twitch. That you know that that's one of the things you guys should be doing to prepare for a potential TikTok ban, whether or not it gets banned. Uh, you can see 180 day stats for for Twitch. It's down five percent the viewership and the hours watched. Same stat. The one year statistics for Twitch. It's down nine point four percent, both in average viewers and hours watched. Um. 30 days, it's down 4.3%. That could be a seasonal adjustment. I really don't know, like, the longer-term the longer term trends. Uh, 90 days, it's up. I think I think, I think that's definitely seasonal. Um, long-term stats. Like, you can see there's a COVID bump here, right? So it, it doesn't look as bad. It doesn't look as bad on this chart. Right, like Feb 23, Feb 22, like Feb February, January and February of 2022 had a peak for some reason. I really, I really don't know the specifics here, but like Twitch isn't in a particularly good place. But hey, it's, at least it's not being threatened by a ban, right? And I, again, I highly recommend, I highly recommend that you guys multi-stream to Twitch and as many platforms as possible. That's definitely one of the things everybody should be doing to potentially prepare for a TikTok ban. Uh, you, you just want a general overview of moder of mo uh, are you, Paul, are you just asking for a general overview of moderating on TikTok? Like being a, a moderator in a live stream chat on TikTok? That's not, it's not, it's actually not a bad video idea. Um, I'll put it on my list of potential ideas, right? But I'm not, I, I honestly, I, I, it's, it's, I've got at least three videos planned straight away, right? So it wouldn't come out anytime soon, but it's actually it's generally not a bad, uh, not a bad video idea. Uh, so moderating on TikTok. General guide about TikTok moderating. Yeah, it's, it's a good idea. Thank you, Paul. Even if I can't do it straight away. Um, Again, like, so, I mean, just in general, by the way, if you want to, the, the easiest way to mod somebody on TikTok is just do it from your phone, tap on their profile picture, assuming you're the live streamer or you're on the, you're on the live streamer's account, tap on their profile picture, and I think there's, like, three dots, and you can add them as a moderator, right? Uh, and then as a moderator, the, the main thing you want is the mute, and, and the mute will remove the message as well, and block will ban them. I really think they need to re rename the word block to the word ban to make it clearer. Um, if you think $19 a month is a lot for multi-streaming, then let me introduce you to everyone else 
Right, let me introduce you to everybody else. This is Restream, right? Uh, and if you want to multi-stream, if you want to multi-stream to Restream, it's also 19 a month, but you don't get 1080p. To get 1080p, you have to pay $50 a month with Restream, right? So with Streamlabs Ultra, you can try the first month for $10 a month using my affiliate link in the description, right? Or for five times extra to get 1080p on Restream, which is, I think it's the most popular multi-streaming platform, $50 a month to get 1080p. Um, so yeah, if you, think, if you think $19 a month is a lot, then this is the industry standard. That's the industry standard. Um, again, I'll show you Lula, I'll show you Lula as well. Because Lula, Lula is a similar, the same pricing. They, they just they copy each other's pricing, right? Um, and I'll show you Streamyard again. They literally copy each other. They like, talk about like a monopoly or whatever, but it's not really a monopoly, like, but like it, they, they're all just copying each other. <laughs> I mean, sure, sure, this is six dollars extra. Like, look at look at look at how like they're they're even they're even copying each other's design. It's funny. There's no original. There's no originality, is there? there uh, this is these these are the like the three multi-streaming websites other than Streamlabs Ultra. <laughs> it's funny how everyone. It's just like if it works for one person, just copy. <laughs> what what's what's the what's the meme? Can I, like like can I copy your homework? Sure, just. Just, just change it a little bit so the teacher doesn't know. I, the, the, there's, there's a better way of saying that, right? But I'm sure you guys have heard of that meme before. Um, right, multi guests on TikTok live studio. So there is this Discord, um, not this one, this one, which is supposedly this is this is supposedly the um, actual TikTok live studio stuff. And I'm gonna put it in the um, I'm gonna put it in the in the chat. Uh, so this is supposedly the TikTok staff who have said uh, last week. Last week they said that multi guest is going to be launched next week, as which is this week, right? So supposedly multi guest multi guest is arriving within the next four days. Um, I'll believe it when I see it. Put it that way, right? But this is supposedly the real TikTok staff. False alarm with antivirus software. I think it. Is, I think it is. But I mean, based on what they're saying, I, I, really, I really again, TikTok never makes sense, right? But this is, this is an what they call unofficial TikTok Live Studio Discord, even though it does contain actual TikTok stuff. Um, I don't, did that link go in the chat? Probably no idea. You guys can click the link, and join it if you want. Paul's joined it already. Again, yeah, not my Discord, but I think that is real TikTok stuff. Train your moderators depending on rules. Definitely give your moderators a clear set of guidelines. I agree. I I, I make sure w one of my conditions to be a moderator on on my channels is is to be in my Discord server, right? Uh, and I'm not going to show the channels. I'm not going to go inside the channels. But you can see here, I've got a channel named Mod, and I've got a channel named Mod Guidelines, and I've also got a log channel which is recording uh, all the different moderation actions happening inside my Discord. So that that's that's. That's a good suggestion just for just in terms of moderating. Have a mod channel on Discord. Require all your moderators to have Discord or some other way of communicating, whatever whatever you want to do, you know, like an Instagram group or you know, just you know, the chat group or somewhere. Um definitely train your moderators a little bit, I agree. But yeah, you can just for for the meantime, while there's no multi guess what Kevin says, just get them on Discord, get them on Zoom, etc. 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 Um you get 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 them on get them on one of the the um the apps like Zoom and Discord. Clapper is a TikTok alternative that some people have been talking about. Interesting, I've not heard of it. That's interesting. Uh, what's the other one? Triller is that is that Triller? Is that what the Demelios were paid to go on? Um, so in terms of what it's like for the mod poll, it's just it just looks the same as as any TikTok chat, any TikTok live stream. Um, the only difference is that when the mod taps on somebody's profile picture, they've got a few different moderation options like mute and block. Right, it, it's not much different, Paul. Um, and if the mod is viewing from a computer, I don't think they have any options. I think they've just added, they've just added the ability. I'm not going to ban you newer, but. 
they've just they've just added this like in the last few weeks where you can finally click on people but you can't do it from the you can't do it from the live producer which is what you have when you have a stream key um by the way i'm sorry if i'm missing any messages on tiktok i'm way better at paying attention to youtube yeah the late the latest version of live studio does seem to have a uh, some uh encoder problems where the encoders are missing yeah the uh, hello cream soda yeah the, this it's one of the problems i talked about on it's one of the problems i talked about on this previous live stream where tiktok just doesn't give everyone access to all the different platforms and it's very annoying <laughs> that's a funny suggestion dda no these are definitely all different companies but it's it is funny how they're just like they've all just copied each other they've copied the website design they've copied the pricing I don't know if they've copied the back end coding. I don't know if they share each other's code as well. <laughs> I doubt they share each other's code, but like, dude, like there's no originality, is there? But 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 there is there actually is because Streamlabs Ultra again, Streamlabs Ultra is different. The Streamlabs Ultra landing page does not look like this. Uh the Streamlabs Ultra page looks like the Streamlabs Ultra page looks like this. This is Cutie Cinderella, who just posted the streamer awards. She's a fantastic content creator, fantastic streamer. Uh, this is the Streamlabs Ultra landing page. And honestly, there's no mention of multi-streaming, right? Because Streamlabs Ultra has so many features. It has all these apps. Like, where's the first mention of multi-streaming? Is it even mentioned on this page? Am I blind? Yeah, well, it just say multiple platforms there, right? Uh, it, it's, just, it's just mentioned as a, as a feature on the on the Streamlabs desktop. Um yeah, there's so there's so many good features. It's honestly it's well worth nineteen dollars a month. Like, again, here's the here's this here's the side by side thing that everyone does it right, but it's still it's still more creative than the way Streamyard and Restream and everyone else has done it right. Well worth the nineteen dollars a month. Again, if you guys want to try it for ten dollars, if you guys want to try it for ten dollars, just click the link um, in the YouTube description. Uh, you, you can click the link in my bio on TikTok as well. Uh, Hello, Jerry. Uh, Jerry, uh, Java, it only works for the Java edition of Minecraft. You can watch the tutorial on my YouTube channel about how uh, TikTok live viewers can control your Minecraft. Java only, sorry. It's, I don't own the program. I think it's not possible in Bedrock. I don't think it's possible to alter the game in that way. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Um... You don't want to get your hopes up. Well, hopefully you get more access soon, Cream Soda. No worries, Paul. I I I fully agree with this one, DJ. That's that's such a simple feature that's missing. Like even Kick, even Kick.com's added it long before TikTok's added it. I noticed Kick.com added that in the last two weeks. Fully agreed with you there, mate. Not much you can do if TikTok suspended you. Just wait for the ban to end. Unless you can somehow magically get in touch with TikTok. <laughs> Good luck doing that. Um... Yeah, DJ. DJ, again, I, I preach this every live stream. You know, even, even when we're not talking about TikTok being banned. I preach this every single live stream. You guys should be multi-streaming. Everyone should be multi-streaming. I preach, I preach this to everybody. Um, how long is my Streamlabs video? Because I do need to go grab some water. Yeah, this is three minutes. Well, what I'll do, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I'll play this Streamlabs video. Uh, and then I'll just I'll just go AFK. I'll grab some water. I'll maybe grab a quick snack. And we'll call, I'll come back in three minutes. Okay, guys? But in the meantime, we'll play this video. Uh, once we've finished this, dude. Lloyd's... <laughs> How, how many people have opened a Lloyd's bank account because they have a black horse advert? It's genius, right? But like, marketing is funny, right? Nothing that like mo nearly every Lloyd's advert is just a black horse. Nothing to do with banking. Absolutely nothing to do with banking. It's just cute horses running around. It's fu it's funny how marketing works, right? So guys, I'll play this video. I'll play this video, and I'll be back in about three minutes. Uh, to talk more about a TikTok ban. But again, I'm playing this video because I highly recommend everybody uses Streamlabs to multi-stream. Um, so we'll watch this video. 
I need to turn that off. And I'll be back in three minutes. Stream Keys multi-streaming and Streamlabs setup is what we're discussing, including a $10 discount for Prime in the description. Stream Keys first. You need this to stream with Streamlabs, so navigate to the Live Center link here, which I've put in the description. And if you can't see this stream key box here, then it means you don't have a key. The stream key changes every time that you go live. Americans with over 1k followers can apply for a stream key through Carter Pulse, which is linked in the description. For other regions, then sadly it seems to be quite random with no clear requirements. But you can probably increase your chances by streaming a lot from your phone and by posting a lot of gaming videos. If you've already got Streamlabs set up like me, then just press go live in the bottom right corner. It's asking for the key. So let's go back to the live center here. We'll click on go live at the bottom here. We'll pick the correct category and the correct game. Fill in your info and hit save and then hit go live again. Click on live now. You're not actually live yet, but here's your stream key and your link. So just go ahead and copy this into Streamlabs like I'm doing now. And you're ready to confirm and go live. However, with Twitch now allowing multi-stream, I strongly suggest you stream on there at the same time. As you can see, that's super easy to do with Streamlabs Prime. I use it myself. There's a $10 discount link in the description. The only caveat with Prime is you need to stream in landscape mode. However, just look at my analytics here. Every TikTok stream was in landscape mode and I had no problem getting views. So just link your Twitch in the settings. Then when you press the go live button in the bottom right, you can see you've got Twitch options here as well as any other platforms like YouTube that you've linked as well. Your Twitch and YouTube chat will be on either side of Streamlabs here and your TikTok chat will be here in the live center. If you're a Streamlabs beginner, let's do a super easy setup. So just download it from the link in the description. If you want to stream on Twitch or YouTube too, then purchase Prime using my discount link. Once installed, click on settings in the bottom left and click on login. We're going to click select platform and we're going to click on TikTok. So just go ahead and choose your TikTok login method. Now let's add our mic, sound, display and camera. This is simply a process of repeatedly adding sources. So here's the four that I suggest. You need the video capture device, the display capture for your screen, the audio input capture is your mic and the audio output capture is your sound. Let's add display capture as an example. So I'll just click add source and give it a name. I'll just call it monitor. And once I've clicked add source, I would choose the correct monitor and just press done. Like I say, this is a similar step to add everything else. So just repeat that for output, input and video capture device. If you need to resize things, just drag the corners like this. And if you need to crop things, hold the alt key and drag on the sides and it crops it. If you're multi-streaming, I would also add another source, which is the alert box here. And that shows your YouTube or Twitch alerts. If you want TikTok alerts as well, then I have a whole guide on Tickfinity, which is in the description. A final note for Prime users, you can customize your Twitch alerts if you click on this alert box library here. There's loads of cool alert overlays. And if you click the option below, you can get custom overlays as well. As you can see, there's loads of choice. So make sure you take advantage of that if you've purchased Prime. If you want personal help setting up your stream, then check out my Fiverr page in the description. Join my free Discord to get advice. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Right, there's two of All me. Good timing. Um, I, I don't want to give myself money, so I'm going to skip the ad. Um, but yeah, obviously, that, that video is obviously slightly outdated. Streamlabs Prime is now called Streamlabs Ultra. It's exactly the same thing. It's, it's this thing here. So what I, I believe what Streamlabs found is that not many people are using their apps. Not many people are using this stuff, right? So they just bundled it into Streamlabs Prime and renamed it to Streamlabs Ultra. Now, uh, FUT Stats Tracker says, is the ban happening? Uh, not as it stands, right? But we're talking about you should be preparing now as if it's happening, right? You, sh you should be doing all the different strategies we're gonna, we'll, we will be talking about on this video. Um, and we've already talked about multi-streaming. And again, I multi-stream with Streamlabs Ultra is linked in the description. We looked at all these other sites as well who just cloned, you know, they're all just clones. <laughs> they're all just clones of each other with the same pricing, the same services. Um, Again, as we highlighted, Colin, Colin and Samir are suggesting it feels unlikely. But you, again, you should be preparing for it regardless. Um, so, I mean, that just brings us on to, I think, the next point. The, the next point I was going to make, right? Um, 
So obviously, like, you're probably following my channel because you're a live streamer. But, of course, 99% of you, maybe 100%, will also have videos, right? So, if I just go on my TikTok, one of my TikTok pages, my gaming page here, right? So, my page is all gaming now, right? But if we go back deep into history, right? I used to do how much money do people make, right? This is how I started, right? This is this is this is how this is how I first got views back in 2020. Like doing how much money do people make? You can see this the second TikTok I ever posted got 265,000 views. And the fourth one I posted got 982,000 views, right? So this is how I started um on TikTok saying how much money do people make, right? What I noticed you know, I was aware of Mr. Beast, right? I noticed Mr. Beast was posting these TikTok things, but on YouTube, right? Obviously, we know now that's called YouTube Shorts, right? But oh, classic Mr. Beast, he got there before everybody else. Mr. Beast was doing YouTube Shorts, like from the middle of 2020 onwards. So what I thought I would do it, at the end of, at the end of October 2020, I posted, I believe, I posted three. I posted three of my TikToks, three of these style of TikToks onto YouTube Shorts just to see what would happen. And I can remember that I can remember a few days later, somebody came into my YouTube live stream and said, did you know that this video has 2000 views? And I was like, what? I've got a video with 2000 views on YouTube. And I've never had a video with 2000 views on YouTube before back then, you know. Um, so what happened in the end? I just started posting every single TikTok onto YouTube Shorts. So this is strategy number two. Strategy number one is you should be multi-streaming. Strategy number two is as well as multi-streaming, you should be posting all of your short form content onto YouTube Shorts. I also highly recommend you post it onto Instagram Reels and to Facebook Reels as well. Don't sleep on Facebook Reels. There is millions of views available on Facebook Reels. Um, We'll just, I'll pull up, uh, screw it. I'm just going to show you the dashboard. I don't care. I don't care about it. I, don't, I really don't care. We'll show, I'll show you the dashboard, right? So if I just sort this by lifetime, there's nothing to hide here. <laughs> so you can see I started this YouTube Shorts channel, or at least the first, the first data point showing, the first data point showing here is three views on the 27th of October. But pretty quickly, I realized that this thing's starting to gain traction. So I started posting my backlog of videos. And by December 2020, it was at one stage, it was getting 400,000 views a day. Now, obviously, that wasn't sustainable, right? Because that was my backlog being posted onto onto YouTube. And I, obviously, I, I couldn't keep up, you know, that, that momentum, right? But you can see... Obviously, YouTube Shorts is a ro short form content's a roller coaster, right? It got down to like a thousand views a day, but like it's pretty steady now. It's like between forty and a hundred k views a day now. I've I've been consistently on YouTube. We've been consistently, as you can see, like over a million views, apart from a few there. We've been consistently over a million views a month just reposting TikToks onto YouTube Shorts. So DJX is DJX is agreeing. This is definitely what you guys should be doing in preparation of a ban. And even if you don't think, even if you think there's a 0% chance of a ban, you need to be doing this anyway. Post your short form content onto every short form platform. TikTok, Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. I did say Facebook Reels. I gen like like generally Facebook Reels is like on top market. Does this leak anything? Screw it. I'm clicking it anyway. the The insights the insights on Facebook are terrible, but we'll 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 try and we'll try and show you guys some insights. Let's see what we got. I need the I need the history though really. So so it's not it's not crazy it's not crazy at the minute, but in the past, like at, at one stage I was getting like at one stage I was getting like a, a million views a month off Facebook Reels. 
I don't know how to navigate this page. This page is horrendous. Like it's not it's not optimized. It won't let it won't even let me change the date up here. It's not optimized for short form content. This this whole dashboard, like a lot again, a lot of these different platforms have all sorts of problems. Is that you know the reason people the reason like content creators love YouTube, it's difficult to crack, right? But it's it's the most fully featured platform, like it really is the easiest platform to use. It's the easiest platform to like get views on, no, but the easiest platform to use, they yes for sure. Um How does Streamlabs console work? Good question. I actually don't know because I've never I've never used it. Um we can we can click on it to see what it says. Um Customize so it seems to be Xbox only to start with, right? You don't need a PC. So I think I I suspect it's an app on Xbox and an app on your phone by the looks of things. And then you can if you have Streamlabs Ultra, of course, you can use the Streamlabs Ultra overlays. Um and it, it will definitely have multi streaming built in. Um it looks like it needs Xbox, Xbox One X, Xbox Series, Xbox One or Xbox Series XX, XS or S. Yeah, I've really done, I, I've never been a console gamer, uh, so I can't really speak for this. Um, again, this this pricing is just the console pricing. If you purchase Streamlabs Ultra, it's included in the price of Streamlabs Ultra, which will get you multi-streaming um, and, and everything else. Um so yeah, it looks like it's it looks like it's it's streaming without a capture card. It looks like it's like professional streaming without a capture card. That's that's what the Streamlabs console appears to be. That was the what I just showed you there was the what's it called the Facebook Business Suite, which is essentially YouTube Studio, but for Facebook. Uh, we should restart the music. I always forget after I take a break. Um, should I rewind? Did I miss some? So Rumble's an interesting one because to me Rumble just seems to be full of right wing, like politics type stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, but in actual fact that my some of my my some of my short form content is also on Rumble, right? Because it, it it's just so easy. It, they, they literally have a um, a YouTube channel sync. You just press this button, it just copies all your videos over. Though it seems to copy one per day, right? So it's like. <laughs> It's like it's 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 still not copied. So I think it's still not copied a lot of them. Yeah, look at all these pending videos. It's trying to copy my my entire rich YouTuber's channel um onto onto <laughs> onto onto Rumble, right? But like yeah, you can you can literally press this button on Rumble and it just copies some of your videos over, right? So like I don't I think I get like 10 views a day. So right, right. And this is just short form content. So let's sort it by views, raw views. Yeah, we get like yeah 17 views yeah we get 10 views a day on rumble right like like but i because i because i could press a button and it does it automatically then why not you know i have 169 likes let's go i got a funny number i got a funny number of likes um yeah again rumble rumble has its place right in terms of you know if you're if you're a right-leaning person interested in politics then to, to me that's what rumble seems to be for but hey, maybe I've misunderstood Rumble. Um, that seems to be... <laughs> to me, that seems to be the use of Rumble, right? Uh, yeah, let's just take another quick pause. Um, I'm not to actually, not to like disappear or anything. Just again, just to say thank you to any of the, all of the channel members. Um, you can become a channel member if you want to support the channel. Just from $1, one pound, one euro. You get the nice chat badge. You get the Discord role. Um... So thank you if anybody becomes a channel member. That's the bronze tier, the silver tier. You get access to a priority support channel in the Discord server. Uh, and we'll, if you become a silver channel member, uh, we'll do a quick on-stream. I'll do a quick on-stream channel review of either your YouTube or your TikTok page, whatever you want. Uh, you can join me in a voice call on-stream if you become a gold member and you get the silver tier and the bronze tier as well. And, and I mentioned every single gold channel member at the end of every video and platinum will also get you all of those features plus a monthly one-on-one -on -one strategy call uh just to talk about tiktok live and anything else you want so shout out to all the channel members thank you very much um probably a good time hello snipe thank you for the gifts on tiktok i see there uh, a good time i mentioned 
uh, some of our affiliate partners. So again, thank you to NordVPN. You can see I've got the NordVPN extension. You can see how easy it is. If I want to activate my VPN, I just click on the Chrome extension, click on the country I want, or just click Quick Connect. Uh, it's that easy. Uh, it's it, I find Nord is fantastic for blocking adverts. It actually works. I, I, I recommend you don't block adverts on YouTube, by the way, because it pays your favorite content creator. You can see I've got ad block disabled. But even though I have ad block, I find that Nord is actually better than ad block at blocking adverts. Um, so that's one of the fantastic features of NordVPN. NordVPN is linked in the description. Um, it is an affiliate partner. So thank you to NordVPN for the affiliate link for the channel. Appreciate NordVPN. Um, in the past, NordVPN could help you get access to Live Studio. I think that's been patched for most people, sadly. Um, but yeah. Um, the answer to that one, Joe, is sadly not. That um, So what I recommend you do with Streamlabs Ultra um, is, again, just enable, set, set up your stream, right? And we'll go back on this page. This is my stream setup, right? This is my stream setup. Uh, I, ha I have the kick chart here, but, but this is a different layout. But set up your stream here, right? Set up your stream. Uh, and then click on the settings cog. Click on virtual webcam. Start the virtual webcam. And then inside TikTok Live Studio, add the Streamlabs virtual webcam as a camera source, right? Uh, same as same the, the same way you'd add the OBS virtual cam as a camera source inside Live Studio. Um, so I would, if I didn't have a stream key, I would multi-stream with Streamlabs Ultra to Twitch, Trovo, Facebook, YouTube, and Kick. I'd multi-stream to those five, and then I would stream to TikTok using TikTok Live Studio. Luckily, I have a stream key. Um, I'm talking about my gaming channel, of course. Um, I have a stream key on my gaming channel, which means I don't have to do that. On this channel, I am using OBS to YouTube and the tic OBS Virtual Cam to TikTok Live Studio to stream on TikTok. Um, so yeah, so we're talking about in general, um, you know, how you can prepare for a TikTok live ban. Uh, so what we've covered so far is definitely multi-stream. You sh again, you really should be multi-streaming regardless, even if you don't think TikTok's going to be banned. The same with posting your short form content onto YouTube Shorts. Again, I'll just show you guys. I'll show you guys again briefly, right? I'll show. Again, I don't. I don't really care about showing analytics. I got nothing to hide here. Yeah, I'll show you guys again. This was just me, you know. I thought I, I, this is just me copying Mr. Beast, like literally, right? Like Mr. Beast was posting short form content on YouTube in 2020, so I just copied him and I kept on going, and we got 71 million views, right? So, repost your TikToks onto YouTube Shorts, repost them on Instagram, repost them on Facebook. Um, nice and simple. And again, you really should be doing this strategy. You should be doing this strategy regardless uh, without watermarks. So for me, it was easy, right? Because I was producing all of my TikToks um, just on a video editor. I was using Camtasia. So I, I had all the raw video files without any TikTok watermark. Um, if you have a TikTok watermark on your videos, I suggest just use some software. Just Google it um, and, and use there's, there's loads of software out there that will remove the TikTok watermark from your video. Um, I'm assuming that's what that question was, right? It, it, it could have been taken out of context. Um, yeah, that one comes from Jakey Bone. <laughs> the inspiration on that one comes from Jakey Bone, um, who is the OG sleep streamer. Yes, you need a key with Streamlabs Ultra, Joe. Uh, but like I said, Joe, if you don't have a key, just, just do what I showed you. Um, enable the Streamlabs virtual cam and multi-stream to the other platforms using Streamlabs Ultra and then stream to TikTok using TikTok Live Studio and add the Streamlabs virtual cam as a camera source to TikTok Live Studio. So you can see on my setup here, I literally I just have a link source, which is not actually active right now, so I could technically delete that. I literally just have, this is the OBS virtual cam. Um, that's right. I'm gonna. I'm going to rename it. This is the OBS virtual cam, and you would just add the Streamlabs virtual cam instead. So I literally, I could literally, I have one source added, and everything's on the screen. You can see the the chat overlays there, even though it's just one camera source uh, added to Live Studio. Uh, so yeah, virtual cams are fantastic. You can also use them on Zoom. So you know, if you want to, 
if you're if you're on a Zoom call or anything like that, you can load up your OBS first, start your virtual cam in OBS, uh, and then and then you can and then you can hop around. You can go crazy on Zoom call, right? You can you can use any OBS feature on your Zoom call. Um, I'm sure there's people out there who've used used that before. I mean, it makes sense for LoFi Girl to be on Rumble, right? Like, <laughs> I do think my you know, it, do you not agree with me, Michael? Isn't it isn't it like ninety percent right wing political commentators on there? I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I do think I think that's the I think that's the play, that's what Rumble's there for, right? The people have been cancelled. <laughs> People have been cancelled or like demonetized on YouTube. They go, they go on Rumble. Um, so Kick.com is is like relatively similar, but it's not. I've, I would say it's not as extreme. It's not as extreme as as uh, it is on the uh, Rumble. Again, I'm not completely bashing Rumble. I think it has a place. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm not. I I, I don't think it's top of the list, especially for live streamers. Definitely something to consider, especially if you are right, right, a right-leaning human being. Uh, what have we missed here? There you go. I, I've never used CapCut, but according to Joe, uh, CapCut could remove TikTok watermarks. There's, there's loads of there's loads of tools that can remove them again. I think if you just just a quick Google or a quick TikTok search or a quick Chat GPT search or any any other search, uh, we'll, we'll tell you that. Yeah, I'm sure they are. And only fan, only fans has tried, only fans tries has tried hard in the past to recruit other types of content creators. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, you know, for for platforms like OnlyFans, for platforms like Rumble, w once you get that reputation, it's kind of hard to shake it off, right? Um, yeah, like yeah, sure, you can produce other types of content on on both OnlyFans and Rumble, right? But like. You know what you you know what OnlyFans is known for, and you know what Rumble is known for, right? Like <laughs> all all the best. If if those platforms are trying to change their image to something else, then all the best to them is what all I'd say, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a ton of websites that will easily remove your watermarks. Again, it, it wasn't a problem for me, like because I, I was producing my videos on a video. I don't know. I, I was using Camtasia. I was using computer editing software. You know, if you're producing in DaVinci or premiere or whatever the other popular software is then um it's it's pretty simple right what have we got here um so we're talking about the tiktok ban what else have i got militia i think just in general like when it comes to tiktok being banned you're gonna be in a better situation if you've built yourself a strong community right like if people aren't just watching because you're on one platform if they're not just watching you for one thing if, if they're watching your content for you rather than whatever you're doing on your stream or on your videos then you're going to be in a much better place to hop around different platforms right one of the greatest things for that obviously is discord right so obviously we're looking at my discord loads of different channels here if you don't have a Discord for your current community or some way of building a community connection, even when you're not live streaming, even if you're not posting videos, I highly recommend Discord. I've been a I've been using Discord. Well, it says on your profile these days, isn't it? Uh, I'm in streamer mode, so it's not it's not gonna say on the profile. <laughs> I've been using Discord since January 2016. Um, because I'm an old man. And I believe Discord was released in the middle of 2015 i could be wrong so i think i i think i started using discord like less than a year after it came out um discord is generally it's one of my favorite apps on the internet it's fantastic great community building tool i highly recommend discord to any and every content creator and just anyone building an online community um it's a key piece of advice, I would say, alongside multi-streaming and posting your videos, your short-form content onto Shorts and Facebook and Instagram Reels. Start building a community. Make it so they want to watch you and not just the content that you're posting. Uh, and that will definitely protect you, not just from a TikTok ban, but like from a suspension, you know. 
I, I think I've had three people come in the live stream today and say, what can I do if TikTok's banned me, right? Not the US government's banned TikTok, TikTok's banned them, right? And the answer is not much, right? You've got to wait out the ban. So in case TikTok or any other platform bans you, build yourself a community so that you can easily maintain the viewership, you know, not guaranteed, but so you can more easily get the viewership onto a different platform, build yourself a community. Why is the preview different? This preview on the same video is different. Again, Discord ain't perfect, as you're seeing, <laughs> but the thumbnail looks fine there and it's different there. It's strange. Anyway, yeah. That's Discord. I love Discord. You don't have not not just Discord. Again, if you have a different community building tool, anybody got any suggestions? What else would you? What other, what other tools would you guys use for community building? I really think Discord's the you know the main tool for that. Um. Yeah. No known musicians are being recruited to OF. Like. <laughs> um, I know they tried to target gamers in the past as well. Um, but obviously, like. Most people would use Patreon for that or like Fan House or something like that, right? There's like different levels of, you know, website for that, you know, OnlyFans is on the extreme end. I'm not bashing OnlyFans by any means. I, I think the point, the point I'm making, like I said, is like once a website gets a reputation, it's hard for it to throw off that reputation. It's going to take a lot of hard work. And even then, not likely. Uh, you can live stream on Discord, but yeah, I, I, there's not much discoverability outside of people inside your server. Um, and for the best live streaming experience, you need Discord Nitro. Um, so that's not... So we, we've been talking about multi-streaming. That's not really part of the multi-streaming strategy. Because, there's, again, the, the discoverability on Discord from Discord streaming is just not there. Um... I do wonder if Discord's considered that, right? And someone can correct me if I'm wrong, right? Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but like, imagine Discord like invested more money. Uh, like, it's, live streaming can be expensive, right? Live streaming is expensive for a, a company to encode and transfer all that data, right? Imagine that Discord invested more money into it. You know, and you had you had a category, you had a button, a button you click somewhere in Discord. It'd be down here, right? Like you click this, you click, sorry, you guys can't see it. Like you click this button here, you click this button to like, or this one, there's, there's an explore button, right? Imagine this page was showing live streams and not just Discord servers, right? Um, I don't think it shows live streams, does it? Wait, there's a cute cat. Where's the cute cat gone? Oh, it's a meme. <laughs> It's generally something Discord has definitely probably considered, like expanding the live streaming offering they have. So you can go live inside your own Discord server, but like I say, people on other Discord servers, they can't easily find you. Um, so that, again, this Discord might enter the live streaming race in the future. Uh, I guarantee you they consider it. Uh, hello, KP. Please don't repeat the same question twice, but uh, just watch... Uh, it, well, first of all, I would say if you're asking the question, dude, he's asking it three times. KP, are you a real human being? Because you, you've pasted it after I started answering. So, I mean, there's not much answering your question if you're not a real human being. I don't know. Maybe you're a robot typing in chat because you're typing the same thing three times. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a programmed robot. <laughs> Just watch this video, mate. But if you're asking the question, you likely don't have a stream key, to be honest. So... But watch, watch the video which says stream key on my channel page. Uh, and don't forget, I am also a human being and it takes me time to answer questions sometimes. Uh, Clapper has the same problem. Again, I hadn't heard of Clapper, to be honest. There seems to be a lot of different right-wing apps popping up. I don't know. I, I, I guess... I guess the I guess the main platforms are like already left leaning, so there's no left wing apps popping up. Interesting, yeah. I'd never heard of that app before. Before you mentioned it earlier on. 
Yeah, it is it is interesting to hear about all these different apps that are out there though definitely interesting yeah i appreciate it joe appreciate it um i only fairly recently started live streaming this is like the fourth live stream well i think we've done five actually i think one of one of them's unlisted it's on this playlist because i didn't really have a main topic for that one so i just basically did you just did a general q a um but yeah i, I thought i thought like it's definitely topical to talk about um a tiktok ban because again like i showed you guys at the start of the stream like every single day so nearly every single day on the bbc news website <laughs> nearly every single day on the bbc news website there's there's something about tiktok being banned right um now it's it's interesting like, let's go back to the tiktok ban topic it, it's it's interesting that i've got this page open because one of the streams i did in general was just like how to make more money on tiktok live so let's talk about money, right? Like one of the things you guys should be doing to, to you know to mitigate a potential TikTok ban is diversify your income streams as a content creator as much as possible, right? Um so let me read you guys out some of my income sources. One second, I'm just gonna off stream pull open um my Google document because I have so many different income sources. So for me, I find but from the, from the money I make as a content creator, the income sources I have, uh, each each individual income source, it's never over 50% of the total. Um, and that's typically a good thing, right? Because it means I've diversified my income. Um, so an example of some of the income sources I have. So I have Google AdSense. And I, I mean, I showed you guys this already, right? So like YouTube, YouTube monetized YouTube Shorts as of february right not a crazy amount but it made a hundred dollars last month right um obviously i have this channel which we're streaming on from youtube right now i get ads on those videos get a small amount of ads of google adsense from this channel as well so i have google adsense as an income source uh, of course on youtube uh we also have memberships super chats few other things there's, there's a few other monetization features which i don't think we're really using so, what was it called super thanks stuff like that so we have full youtube monetization is my point we also have of course on tiktok i have a few different tiktok pages so we have tiktok gifting um and i believe we actually i actually polled you guys the other the other week about tiktok gifting let's have a look so i asked i asked you guys how much money everybody makes right so you can say I voted myself. I've made more than five hundred dollars overall from TikTok gifting. Um, sadly, forty-eight percent of you have made less than ten dollars, but that still means at least half of you guys have made ten dollars or more from gifting on TikTok. Of course, there is the TikTok Creator Fund, even though it pays like one cent for a thousand views. Um, of course, my Twitch channel is monetized as well. I am a Twitch affiliate. Um, I also have my Epic Games support a creator code. You can use code WGMojo, hashtag ad. I also have a Fiverr page. So here's my Fiverr page. I'm a level one seller. I will actually unlock level two uh, on April the 15th. So I just sell various services on Fiverr. If anybody wants to hop in a one-on-one -on -one call just to talk about anything about content creation... Then we have the one-on-one -on -one gig. I'll set up people's streams. I'll fix live stream issues. I'll just do the Minecraft server setup. If you guys can't be bothered to follow my tutorial, I'll just set up, I'll just do the Minecraft server setup for you, etc., etc. So I have a Fiverr page. I make money from Fiverr. Uh, what else do we have? I have various different affiliate income uh, sources. Um, so I mean, I'm not going to go through them all, but I have. We've, we've talked about Streamlabs Ultra enough. Again, there's a Streamlabs Ultra affiliate link, which gives you guys a Discord too. Uh, I have Tickfinity affiliate as well. So if you make if you make a new account after clicking my Tickfinity link, it reduces the price of Tickfinity Pro from $19 to $15 a month. And I make a commission off that. We have NordVPN as well. NordVPN.com slash WGMojo. Thank you to all the people who have purchased uh, a NordVPN subscription using that. These are all linked in the description. But the point I'm making is diversify your income sources because that will help you 
when there is a TikTok ban. Uh, I think I covered most of the income sources there. Uh, but as you guys saw, there was a lot of different things there, right? And none of those are making me millions, right? I'm, I don't pretend to be a millionaire, right? But 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 the the point I, I'm the point I'm making is not to brag, but the the point is the point is to say, you folks as content creators should be looking for as many monetization sources as possible. Again, because of things like a threatening a threatened TikTok ban, or you know, let's say YouTube suddenly decides they don't like you, and you you're gone from YouTube or any platform, not just YouTube, any platform can suddenly decide, oh I don't like you, yeet, away you go. So diversify your income sources as much as possible. Yeah, that's a tough one. 10 million views in 90 days, right? Um, so what I would say on that one, Rob, is that if you have a YouTube channel these days, tr try your best as much as possible, right? To, to do all three. It's difficult, right? But post videos, stream, and shorts. And I'm, I'm doing that on this channel to an extent, right? We have shorts. We have videos, we have live streams, you're watching it. So I monetized this channel through long form video. Obviously I found a niche and I ran with it. We just did TikTok live computer streaming. So I monetized this channel through just long form videos. Uh, but of course that enables shorts monetization as well. If you, if you get a monetized YouTube channel, it enables all monetization options even if that's not how you got access to monetization, if you see what I mean, right? So you can get watch hours. So you need 4,000 watch hours. You can get watch hours from a live stream, right? So that's how I monetized this channel. This channel. So this channel was, was monetized almost exclusively from live streaming, right? Like two years ago now. Look at all these live streams. But like... This was this was long after this was long after the channel was monetized, right? But like, we go all the way back. We're going miles back here. We're going we're going into ancient history. We're going into COVID. We're going into COVID times here. But like this channel, this this was back before I put the cap on. <laughs> like this channel was monetized exclusively through live streaming, and that's how I got the watch hours on this channel. But again, now I can make we're we've reached the bottom now. But now I can make money. Despite the fact this channel was monetized on YouTube through live streaming, now I can make money from, from videos, from shorts, etc. Right? So the, the the basic point is like, try and do everything on YouTube. I know it's difficult, right? I know it's difficult, but try your best to do everything. Yeah, the create the create the TikTok creator fund from my experience typically pays between one and two cents per a thousand views. Uh the the YouTube shorts, um, not cut the well, YouTube shorts ad revenue again. I've showed this already, right? So I'll, I'll just I, do, I, I don't mind showing the, the just literally the the actual dashboard, right? Uh, mine seems to be up to six six cent RPM now. It was on five. And this is broadly similar to what the YouTube shorts fund was paying before it switched to the ad ad model. But this is still like triple, even though it's only six cents for a thousand views, it's still triple what TikTok pays. Or maybe even more than triple. Um, the last time I checked, the TikTok creator fund was 10,000 followers and 100,000 views in 30 days. Um, and like we just mentioned, uh, TikTok creator funds is about one or two cents for a thousand views. So not much. Twenty dollars for a million views. <laughs> Hello, big big spoon, who just types into the TikTok chat, Tickfinity. Yes, Tickfinity is fantastic. I don't know what you're asking about, Tickfinity, but Tickfinity is fantastic. Uh you got 50k what Rob? I don't I don't I need I need some context on that comment. If you got fifty thousand US dollars, <laughs> I don't think that's what you mean. Did, I, did you did you delete that message? Because I think it, I I think it's missing from the. Uh... Yeah, you did. You did delete it, but my widget just didn't show it. Yeah, views from short form. Yeah, to to the to join the TikTok Creator Fund, I believe it's hundred k views in a month. 
Yeah, no worries. No worries, Rob. No worries. Scroll up. What's big, 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 big? I think big, big. You've been, uh, you've been filtered. Uh, hello, big, big. When you've been filtered by TikTok's algorithm, I can't see what message you typed. Uh, we'll check here as well. Yeah, no, you've been filtered by the TikTok algorithm. The TikTok often does that. They just randomly remove messages. What's the best way to ensure one like equals one coin on Tickfinity? You're talking about the point system. Um, so f from what from what Zarity's said in, in in the Tickfinity Discord is it, it's difficult it's difficult to get it precise um, because the the way Tickfinity works is because there's no public API. Tickfinity is reverse engineering the your live stream chat, right? And and TikTok isn't sending every single like to your live stream chat so it's it's therefore very difficult for tickfinity to pick up every like um i know that's a little bit complicated to explain i think there's no fully accurate way to do it big big is the answer Be because because tiktok doesn't give uh Zerity, the tickfinity developer a public api or a private one to access from hello leon how's it going leon Yeah, Roberto Blake is fantastic. It, like, if if you guys aren't watching Roberto Blake's content, I highly recommend it. Um, he's got a lot of wisdom to share. He's a, he's a great he's a great content creator, and he talks about again. He's, he's similar to Colin and Samir in a way, but it, it's completely different style. Um, he talks about being a content creator, you know, and strat different strategies you should be taking and stuff like that. I highly recommend Roberto Blake's channel as well as Colin and Samir. Uh, if you guys aren't already, yeah, Roberto Blake has a very high RPM, CPM, same thing. Well, similar thing. How can I make a list of gifts that keep shifting like this? Yeah, we're talking about uh, we're talking about this thing. So the way I made this, I know I'm not very zoomed in on it. Um, relatively simple right there's three components so firstly you make a static image and actually i have the what well, we have the so here's the static image firstly you make a static image right this is just an image i made in gimp which is a free free image editing software so let me show it. i'll show you guys the we'll show you guys the uh, the one with the gifts on it actually so you make a static image right i mean i'm sure you guys can do that right if you're content creators Make a static image. Then all you do is you apply the scroll effect in either OBS or Streamlabs. Because it's the same thing, right? You apply the scroll effect to the image. So you just right-click it, filters. You add the scroll effect and give it some vertical speed. And then I just surrounded it with a web... I just put a webcam border around it. So this is, this is one of the webcam borders from Streamlabs Ultra. I just put a webcam board around it. It's actually relatively simple once you break it down. Uh, and to get the to get the gift images, you just copy and paste them off to Infinity, to put it simply. So I'll, I'll show you guys how to copy paste the gift image. So you, you go on any page on Tickfinity. Uh, you go on any page on Tickfinity that has a gift logo. The best page is the Sandalich page. You just right click copy, copy image, and you and you've copied the TikTok gift image. As simple as that. Simple as that. Fart sound. <laughs> anyway. Again, that, that's the that's the OBS website. I've never covered the OBS WebSocket, but it lets Tickfinity control your OBS. That's a good question, Lord. Uh, if it's showing 200 and not letting you add more, it might it might be a bug inside Live Studio. Live Studio has so many bugs. I honestly don't know the answer to that question. I'm not gonna lie. Do do you really need more than 30 moderators? It would be my question. Um. So you can't you can't scroll an image in Live Studio, but you can just use the OBS Virtual Cam for something like that, Leon. So you would set you would set it up in OBS or 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 in Streamlabs. Set up the scrolling list in OBS, then start the OBS virtual cam, and then add the OBS virtual cam. 
add the, add the OBS virtual cam as a camera source to live studio. Yeah, that that would be how you that would be how you do that one. Um, again, relatively simple. Uh, big big, if you're still there, sorry I missed the message. Yeah, you probably probably better in bulk, right? Even then, I don't think Tickfinity will be fully accurate. Guys, let's stay hydrated. Cheers. Um. Yeah, no problem, Leon. So I, I'd be curious to hear. I think we're getting towards the end now, right? I, I, it's honestly the the strategy to the strategy to negate a TikTok ban to me. It's relatively simple, right? And I think I, I think I've outlined it for the most part already, right? To to, to me, it seems clear. Multi-stream. Again, Ultra is what I use. Linked in description, affiliate link, discount if you click the link. Multi-stream. Post your content, post your TikTok videos onto Shorts, onto Reels. And by Reels, I mean both Instagram and Facebook. Multi-stream, post short from content everywhere. Build yourself a community. So get a Discord or whatever else you use for community building. And diversify your income as much as possible. That would be my summary when it comes to how you can negate a TikTok potential TikTok ban. At every single step, you guys should be starting straight away. You guys should honestly be doing that regardless, even if you don't think TikTok's ever going to be banned. Um, again, my, my, my personal opinion is I, I feel like it's not completely, you know, it, it's it's not completely like like it's never gonna happen, but like I think it's I do think it's still unlikely TikTok would be banned. I, I I think given what's at stake, like like the the millions of dollars that companies spend on TikTok, you know the, the millions of dollars that TikTok inevitably generates for the U.S. economy and for the Western economies, I th I think it's inevitable that a solution will be found in some way, shape, or form. Whether whether that's just the the American courts blocking a TikTok ban or you know Joe Biden backing down or TikTok selling to a Western company whatever whatever the outcome is I I think that's more likely than TikTok actually being banned in the US in the first place but like we say you guys should always be prepared anyway and every single thing I've outlined there you guys should be doing it regardless of whether or not you think it's really going to be banned to be, to be honest um what's what's Michael asking here What would you do if TikTok was banned tomorrow and you had more than the minimum withdrawal per day in your account? That is a good question. <laughs> so, so you're saying like, so you are you saying like if I've got like let's say I've got a hundred dollars in my in my TikTok creator fund or from from gifting? Like, what 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 should everybody do in that case? That that's an interesting question. I don't know is the answer. <laughs> what could you do, right? Um. You, you would hope that what TikTok would do in... Oh, maximum. <laughs> so, honestly, I would hope what TikTok would do in this situation is is they would be as fair as possible. And, like, TikTok already has your details. Right? They have your PayPal or they have they have one of your payment details on, on record, almost certainly, right, for most people. So, I would hope TikTok, like, if the platform got banned in that country, that TikTok... I would hope that TikTok is, is nice enough just to push out payments regardless of people requesting it right so like so like if tiktok gets banned in the us i would hope that tiktok is is good enough just to like automatically send out whatever balances are outstanding right and say you know thanks for being tiktok user here's your final payment see you later you know <laughs> see you later because we've been banned um Right, we seem to have some people asking about files as well. What, what, what did I miss out here? Uh, Rob says, thanks for the useful info. No problem, Rob. Thanks for being in the stream. When I save an image, for example, a gift from Tickfinity, I can't add it to Live Studio as an image. Yeah, I think you just need to convert it, like Rob is saying. Um, and it, there's loads of image converters or you can just you just stick it in gimp i use gimp right this is free image editing software just type it i know gimp is a funny word i don't know why it's called gimp right but the, the, i i make i do everything in gimp right um 
So like I made this I made this thumbnail in GIMP. I know it's a pretty simple thumbnail, right? Uh, I made this thumbnail in GIMP. Uh, and you just you just export any file and, and choose any file type. It's pretty simple, right? And it's completely free, right? So if you if you guys are trying to convert files or whatever or edit images, then yeah, GIMP is great. And GIMP GIMP can process WebP any file any image file. Any image file out there, no problem. Hopefully, yeah. That's what I would hope TikTok would do. Like, if 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 TikTok did get banned, I would hope TikTok would just uh just automatically pay out any remaining balances. Um honestly, like TikTok has been banned. It's been banned in India. So I'm I wonder what they did do when TikTok did get banned in India. Um this is a question you can ask chat so something like chat GPT. Um I wonder sadly it's not it's often not great. Let's see if chat GPT has an answer. What happened to outstanding balances when TikTok got banned in India? For example, some people would have made money from TikTok streaming and would have money in there but i didn't say i didn't describe it very well let's see let's see if chat gpt can answer this when tiktok was banned in india in 2020 users who had earned money through the platform were not able to access their outstanding balances um blah 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 it is unclear whether users will be able to recover any outstanding balances once the ban is... <laughs> That's it. According to ChatGPT, which is... It's not always accurate. TikTok just yoinked the money when it got banned in India. That's what that's what ChatGPT is suggesting. <laughs> Again, I, I always take ChatGPT with a grain of salt, right? Because I know it gets things wrong. I, it, it often gets things wrong, especially when talking about TikTok. <laughs> So my, Michael is suggesting if if you do have a lot of money in your balance, cash out as soon as possible. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> Definitely based on this answer. Um, honestly, though, I, I I think I think if it gets banned in America, um, I I think they might be more fair than the, when it got banned in India. Um, who knows? So who knows? Who knows? Um. Yeah, I'm curious to hear if you guys have any opinions uh, on like w what would you guys do to negate a TikTok ban, right? Like, how are you guys preparing for a TikTok ban? Is, is anyone preparing for anything? Has anyone changed their has anyone changed their content creation strategy in the last month or two because of a potential TikTok ban? Um, yeah, I, I think I think we'll, we'll we'll end we'll I'll end the live stream just by you know seeing what anybody's. You know, seeing what anybody has to say about that, you know, because you know, maybe again, I don't pretend to be an all-knowing, all-powerful human being. I might have missed something obvious. I might have missed an obvious strategy that could be done um, to to prepare for a TikTok ban. And this is actually, this is actually, you know, while we're waiting to to see if anybody has any input, this is a fun thing you do with Chat DPT. So you're saying, I'll taste as a content creator. Uh, what should I be doing to prepare for a potential prepare for a potential ban of TikTok in the US? Let's see. Let's see what Chat GPT suggests. It's always fun to ask Chat GPT. Diversify your content platforms. Yep, I've said that one already. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I've not I've not really mentioned Instagram too much, but yes, if you guys have a good Instagram strategy, do Instagram as well. Back up your content, yeah. I didn't really mention that one either. Stay up to date on news, yeah, yeah, I guess. Engage with your audience, yeah. I told you that. I told I told you guys that one. That's community building. Yeah, I mean, it's just said what we've said basically. Honestly, I didn't really say back up your content because I assume people have the content on their devices already. To be honest. But yeah, I mean, good call. If you guys, if you guys are concerned, download your TikToks. If you haven't already, 
And like, but like I said, I, I kind of did say back up your content, right? Because I said, you guys need to be posting, regardless of whether you think it's going to be banned. Post YouTube shorts. Post the same TikTok onto YouTube. Post the same onto Reels, both Facebook and Instagram as well. Um, so Rob, sa Rob says he would just stream to uh, YouTube, Twitch, etc. without many viewers. Yep. Uh, and that's that's the point that both me and chat GPT are saying, which is engage with your audience, um, which is build a community so that you can transfer them over easier. Um, I've literally done this. What? Uh, I mean, the, yeah, I, I, it's it. I've, I've people, multiple people have asked me about this, like the like the the sp specific fight going on some specific not i don't i don't know what to i don't know how to describe it so some specific minecraft thing that's been trending all over face all over tiktok uh, i don't know how to do that specifically but in general if you want your uh, your minecraft game to be controlled just watch this one here if you want the viewers to control your minecraft game just watch this one here um i think that's a good time to end the stream um Pretty, pretty simple strategy. We'll, we'll, again, we'll just summarize it again. To, to prepare for a TikTok ban, make sure you're multi-streaming. Again, there's, again I, I didn't actually mention it, right? But this this multi-stream guide, it gives a free, it gives some free methods as well to, to multi-stream. So you guys can watch this multi-stream guide at the bottom of the channel if you want. Make sure you guys are multi-streaming. Post you guys' content on every single platform. That includes short form as well. Post that everywhere. Build yourself a strong community. Get Discord, something like that. And diversify your income streams as much as possible. So you're not just reliant. So you're not just reliant on um, TikTok. Right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe as ever. We'll go full screen for a second. Subscribe if you found this useful. Join the Discord. Click any of the links in the description. And again, as per usual, guys. Thank you for watching.